care industry's vetting and barring regulations check the past, but that alone cannot protect the future. The current regulations do appear comprehensive, but cases of abuse have escalated by over 100 million since 2015. The Care Quality Ecosystems Innovation breaks that trend as it starts by scientifically screening suitable applicants only recommending those whose survey results show them as caring and record as green. So it follows that the more greens there are on a shift, the safer it becomes. Safe shifts breed confidence, both in staff and in residents, and the culture develops into an ecosystem. Um, coming in as mainly greens, um, it's a lot easier and a lot quicker for me uh, to do the rotor on a weekly basis, whereas before it could take four or five hours, now it maybe just take you know an hour and a half. CQE reports monthly on several important issues. The 3D pyramid reports the safety position and shows how redshifts have been reduced, followed in detail in the 3D surveys. The carer advocacy reflects how the culture values itself. High staff churn can be disastrous, so it's important to keep it as low as possible. Happiness at work is a measure of a culture's true condition. CQE annual graph becomes evidence that residents have been kept safe. CQE provides a comprehensive report on each of the key inspection questions. As a solution, or even the first step to a solution, as you say. Sounds amazing. Uh, yes. yes. You have to see it to believe that. At the moment, CQE is limited by being a manual process. But when scaled, online access will be available instantly across the entire English-speaking world.